Well, today's pastoral motivation is being brought to you by Pastor T. Basil Stirrup of Good News Seventh-day Adventist Church. I'm here to encourage you to have confidence in the midst of COVID-19. As we consider what our country has been going through over the past few weeks, resiliency is an important characteristic that each citizen will have to possess in order for us to thrive while we face the coronavirus. And nothing produces resiliency more than being aware of this fact. In spite of what's happening, God has our best interests at heart. Therefore, the greatest challenge we face today is not a virus that has caused a global lockdown. Our greatest challenge is what we choose to focus on during the lockdown. The perspective or lens through which we see life in a crisis situation will either make us disenchanted or help us to make sense of what's going on in our world. And that's because what we choose to see is often colored by the condition of our hearts. Too often we choose to focus our lenses on negative assumptions, fears, prejudice, and lack of knowledge. And whatever the condition of our heart is, usually is a correspondent response. That means our attitudes can be more deadly than the coronavirus. Today, I challenge the Bahamas and the world to capture your memories of COVID-19 by focusing your lens only on what is good. Like a professional photographer, I dare you to zoom in only on the things that will help us to benefit from this pandemic. It's amazing that some persons are complaining about the curfew, rebelling against social distancing and becoming disillusioned with the lack of freedom, while others living in the same condition are grateful for the quality time they have to spend with family, the absence of stress associated with driving through traffic every morning, and above all, gaining knowledge of how careless we have become when it comes to practicing good hygiene. Whatsoever things are of a good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. If we have seen nothing positive because of COVID-19, I encourage us to adjust the lens through which we see life. And ultimately, like myself, you too will begin to see that that which was meant for evil, God has the ability to turn it around for our good.